Hi everyone. There was an inquiry regarding the assignment for reinforced concrete design one on how to produce a structural key plan based on a given architecture plan. This video is produced to guide you through the steps for you to produce a structural key plan based on the information given in the architecture plan. To do so, first you need to be familiar with the architectural drawing. This is the drawing given for the architectural part. It comprises several essential informations such as the view of the structures from the external, front and side, the floor plan of the structures for each level, and also the section view of the structures. It also provides the information for the architecture feature such as windows and doors, the details of the surfaces, the gutter, the fin, the pumping and sanitary system, and some information on the natural lighting and ventilations. It basically cover all the necessary information that to be covered by a typical architect. However, as far as the structural engineer concerned, we shall refer more extensively in terms of the view of the structures, the plan view of the floor, and also the section view of the building. You will need to read between the lines, read all the words written there, to be familiar with the specifications and the requirement as defined by the architect. You will need to with your best effort in order to abide to the requirements by the architect. When you encounter certain statements like the RC column to engineer's detail or any other things to engineer details, that means you are given the right for you to propose the design and detail to fit the needs of the structure. These are typically meant for the structural element that needs to be designed by an engineer. This is the ground floor plan view. From there, you will be able to identify the allocations of the spaces, the locations of the wall, the proposed locations and size of the columns, the functions of the spaces, and also the architecture feature like the fin. You can imagine the fin based on the side view of the structures. It should look something like this. It is mainly for the purposes of the aesthetic value. Also for the roof plan, it gives you the details of the roof the floor directions of the rainwater on top of the roof and most essentially are the grid line. It also show you the locations of the cut sections. These cut sections is to be referred with the cut section here. The cut section here indica indicates to you the height of the floor, the drop, the extension of the roof, the height of the window, and the details of the RC gutter, and others. You need to know the allowable space for the headroom and the ceiling as from the view from the front side and the ray 
they are height of the floor, the proposed platform level, the architecture feature, and how does the structure looks like. You will have to imagine everything in 3D for you to be able to construct the key plan. Among all these drawings, you will refer more extensively in terms of the floor plan as your key plan are normally formulated from the floor plan. First, you look into the grid line. You are advised to adopt the grid line given here as the grid line for your key plan. From the side view here, you know that this is a single story building. That means you will have at least two key plan, the ground key plan and the first floor key plan. Of course, you have one more section here. So technically, you will have another level of the key plan. You can call this as a roof key plan and the upper roof key plan. Next, go back to the ground floor plan given by the architect. Use the grid line produced here. Start to propose the layout of your beam.